Hello from the Flying Reporter on board a Thameslink train from Red Hill up to um, where am I going to? Farringdon. Then I'm catching the tube from Farringdon to Liverpool Street and then um, a train from Liverpool Street up to Ipswich. Then a taxi from Ipswich to Elmset Airfield. Why? We're picking up India Victor today. Um, the engineers have made light work of uh, the difficulties we had with India Victor. They've told me they've uh, found what was wrong, or certainly the prime suspect of what was wrong. Uh, they've also done the 50 hour check, and so we're going to pick her up. So, my second train now. I'm at London Liverpool Street, made a bit of a faux pas on the way, missed Liverpool Street Station on the tube and had to backtrack, which meant I had to rush to get my lunch. And uh, the train leaves in two minutes, just gone on board, so... Whew. So on the journey um, up here from Red Hill, um, which didn't go very smoothly because the taxi driver that was booked never came. Then I had to book another one so I just made my train. We are now approaching Stratford. But um, yeah on the train up from Redhill I've been doing my performance calculations for right. my departure from Elmset and for my landing back at Redhill. Um, we'll it. It's a hot day it, today, 26 degrees sort later on. So um, and it's a bit marginal coming into Redhill on runway 18 which I'm expecting them to be on today and I've done my plog as well um, for my route from Elmset back down to um, Red Hill and um, you'll see that later in the flight hopefully. change so are you sure I'm yeah, probably yeah. giving you a, I can do it on a card if you prefer it's all right, I'm sorry so here we are in the middle of nowhere <laughs> at Elm set and uh, we're going to see what's going on and what they found out what's wrong with India Victor hello so uh, we've made it. I've uh, spoken to the engineers here at uh, Aero Anglia. They're really busy actually at the moment dealing with um, a backlog of aircraft in the hangar so they didn't have time uh, to come on camera and talk to, to you directly. But um, so what have they done? As you know from the last update they did a compression check, no problems on the compression checks, no evidence of um, valves sticking. Um, they had a look at the air filter, they also had a look at the spark plugs, they did find I think one of the plugs slightly out of limits, um, so no doubt they've corrected that. But here's the thing, uh, as I alluded to in the last video, I've been having black particles come out of the engine drain, I'll show you what I mean. Um, in fact let's get the engine drain now because I've got to do this anyway. Uh, let's get the fuel tester device and we do this um, before well, this is part of the a check every day before flying just got to take the little stud out the top of my water tester just bear with I might have to put the camera down for a sec just jammed in there there we go right 
So, as I say, this well, I say water tester, but we're testing for all sorts of things: particles, water. We're also checking that it is avgas. It will be blue if it's avgas. So there's a little drain here. Uh, can you see that? So this is. There are three drains on this aircraft: two on the wings, one on the engine. Now the wing drains have always come up clear, no problems at all. But every time I've drained it, you just push it in, and you get a little bit of of fuel come through. I'll take that out now, and we have a look at it. There's some very tiny particles in there, but chances are they're from the actual tester rather than the fuel in the engine here. But this is measuring the lowest point in the gas escalator where the fuel comes in. As I say, there are a few little bits in there at the minute. I'm, I'm expecting those to be just stuff that's in the fuel tester where it's been in the aircraft. Yeah, looks pretty clear to me. But when I've been testing this previously, from the very first moment that I picked up the aircraft, after we bought it, um, I've been getting black particles in there. And it came in for a check of that. They drained the whole system, couldn't find anything wrong. And then ever since that last check, it's been gradually getting worse again. And I've been getting the particles in there. So what I've been doing is I've been draining it out every time so there are no particles left at the lowest point in the engine uh, or where the fuel comes in here, uh, where it's going to collect. And um, so the primary suspect was these particles um, going through an injector and, and stopping the fuel flow. And we think that's what's been happening. Now here is a picture. So they took the gas escalator. The gas escalator sits just next to that drain. Um, and there's a, there's a fuel filter in there as well, or near there. So here's what it looks like in the bottom of the gas escalator. And here's what the filter looks like. These were pictures taken by engineer Aiden. And you can see lots of fluff, black stuff, basically fabric of some sort, or lint. And they say that you do sometimes get a bit of that in there. You can imagine, can't you, that bits get in through the fuel caps or whatever but the amount that's there is very, very unusual. And um, what they think is that somebody at some point has accidentally, this is prior to us purchasing it, possibly, we don't know this for sure, we can't possibly ever tell, but somebody's dropped a rag or a bit of fabric has fallen in the, the fuel tank. And over time, it's made it down the very thin pipes, uh, down the wing to the engine. Um, where it's just been hammered and, and forced and, and gra gradually come through and broken up and causing these blockages. So what they've done is they've, we, we knew that there was no fabric in the fuel tanks because both fuel tanks have been out. They were out at the last annual, which was only in March. There was nothing in there. So they've gone through all the pipes and they've, they've put pressure through them and, and basically cleaned them through at high pressure to make sure there's nothing left in there cleaned out the fuel um, gas escalator, the, the filter, and so they're confident there's no more in there. So we're going to keep an eye on it, make sure nothing else comes through, because if it is, it's clearly coming from the engine, but we don't think it is. It's fabric, it's not metal or something like that. So I'll keep testing it every flight. If I see any more, then obviously I'll be reporting back to the engineers, but we think we've, we've certainly solved that problem, and there is no more fabric in there, but um, you know, we can't be safe for absolute certainty that that was what caused the engine hiccup the other day, but it is the most obvious contender, having ruled out most other major things. So that's where we are. India Victor is ready to fly. It's got uh, the release to service. Um, I'm here at Elmset. The weather's calm. It's nice. It's Cav OK. Slight uh, crosswind here on runway 23. Um, so I'm going to do my pre-flight checks and next time you see me I'll be in the air flying India Victor for the first time since this maintenance, flying cautiously um, because of what's happened and because there's been quite a lot of work done on the fuel system. So uh, we'll, um, we'll, we'll fly, uh, as I say, cautiously. Uh, you'll see me in the aircraft next. Clear prop! is fully rich, propellers fall forward, flaps as required, indicated and 
shown. Trimmers set for takeoff. Emergency gear extension is overridden. Controls full and free. So we're going to rotate at uh, seven, uh, 60, what's going to rotate at 58, climb at 70, gear up 80, 96, best glide. If we have a problem on the ground, we will close the throttle, come to a stop, if we've taken off, we'll uh, close the throttle and select a field either side, 96 is the glide and um, going to be a straight climb out here, we've got a crosswind from the rear left. Watersham Approach, Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor on the ground at Elm set for departure. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, Watersham Approach, good afternoon. Squawk 4516 and pass your message. Squawk 4516, Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, PA28 Arrow, Elm set to Red Hill VFR. I intend to use runway 23 and climb out on that heading uh, and request a basic service and that's penetration. Golf India, Victor, many thanks. Watch from QNH1022. Max penetration approved in the climb. QNH1022, Max penetration approved in the climb. Golf India, Victor. Oh, Golf India, Victor, surface wind at Watch from 1409, not triple turbo. We'll go, Golf India, Victor. Temperatures, pressures, no warning lights, airspeed is increasing. Runway is gone, brakes and retract the gear. Climb at 80. Temperatures and pressures are all good. Oh, stupid thing. Got gear up, got flaps up. Coming back to Approach Golf Bravo Mike India Victor uh, Airborne uh, Time uh, One One. Golf India Victor Roger Basic Service. Basic Service Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor when able Air Squawk Ident and report your level passing. Squawk Ident uh, passing altitude 1,100 feet QNH 1022 Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor many thanks report change in frequency. Okay Golf India Victor. Flaps are up, gears up. We've uh, re-engaged the auto gear extender. Quick look underneath the nose. Golf India Victor, request frequency change. Earl's Cone Radio One Two Two Decimal Four Three Zero. Golf India Victor, red and short conspicuity today. Short conspicuity goodbye. Golf India Victor. Oscan Radio, Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, good afternoon. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, so let's go and pass your message. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, we've just departed Elm set uh, en route to Red Hill VFR, intent to route overhead. Uh, we're currently uh, nine miles to the northeast and going to be overhead at uh, 2,300 feet. Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor, it's 06, right hand circuit, the QNH is 1023. Present time, nothing known to affect. 1023, Golf Indy Victor. The wind is sort of from the south, southwest. So we're airborne, um, it all felt a bit uh, 
unusual. I don't know why. It's not been that long ago since I flew in the Victor. But I think it's just the knowledge that they've done quite a bit of work on some key systems and you're uh, aware of every little noise and looking at the instruments perhaps more studiously than you might otherwise do. And uh, we've set a cruise power of 55%, which is kind of the lowest cruise that we normally do. And just gradually leaning the mixture. Corfini Victor entering the ATZ at the northern edge, uh, altitude 2,300 feet. Corfini Victor, Roger. To be fair, I'm actually not in the ATZ by about 10 feet. Corfini Victor leaving the ATZ to the southwest and changing to the south end listening squawk. Good day. Off in the Victor, Roger, South End, 130780, bye. Bye. So I'm uh, glad that the engineers have uh, found something that they think is possibly the cause of the engine splutter. Um, it does sort of fit the bill. And it does look like they've got to the bottom of the contamination in the fuel. Something you don't want, of course, but uh, somebody probably at some point, we maybe didn't even know that a rag had dropped in there or something had dropped in there uh, into the tank at some point. That's the, that's the kind of the only possibility, really. Nice day. Lovely and warm. Everything seems to be working fine. I should, probably shouldn't have said that. Getting quite a bit of turbulence now off uh, all of this concrete down here. Creating a heck of a lot of lift. Which I'm counteracting with forward pressure, which is increasing my speed to 130 knots. Okay, relax that pressure now. Aircraft down there. So let's go on the right tank now. To 35. Oh, blimey, that was a bit unpleasant. Tower, good afternoon, Golf Bravo, Mike, India, Victor, Bow Beach, Reservoir, inbound with Yankee, QNH 1022. Golf Bravo, Mike, India, Victor, good afternoon, Squawk 3767, I'll call you back. Squawk 3767, Golf Bravo, Mike, India, Victor. When I clear to touch and go, go south now, sir. Golf India, Victor, tower, pass your message. Golf India, Victor, PO28, inbound from Echo, Golf Sierra Tango, 1 POB VFR, request join. Golf India, Victor, thank you, basic service report at Godstone. Basic service report, Godstone, Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor, Godstone. Golf India Victor, Roger, join on to a left base, runway 180, number 2, following a PA 28 late downwind. Join left base, number 2, traffic in sight, Golf India Victor. Brakes, undercarriage is down, three grains mixture. Student Gold video for so just checking out my lot to see past the uh, red traffic lights. Golf India Foxtrot A firm, taxi up to Echo 1. Thank you, Golf India Foxtrot. Undercarriage mixture, fuel landing like. Carb heat, hatches, harnesses. Reds, blues, three greens. Uh, 72. Go 
Scott Alpha Alpha, vacate right, taxi parking. Vacate right, taxi to parking at the club, call for Alpha Alpha. Scott Alpha Alpha, that's uh, 12 total. Copy to Victor, final 1 8 to land. Golf Indy Victor, runway 18, surface winds 150, five knots, you're clear to land. Clear to land, runway 18, Golf Indy Victor. Alpha Alpha, I've put 10 down, so I can quite easily make it 12 if you prefer. 10 is great, thank you. Victor, taxi to parking. Golf Indy Victor, vacate left, taxi to parking. Vacate left, turn to parking, Golf Indy Victor. Golf Indy Fox shot via Golf, sorry, via Echo 1, line up 1 8. Via Echo 1, line up 1 8, Golf Indy Victor, uh, Fox shot. Running time is 5 0. sign off now my ears haven't popped uh, hope that was useful and enjoyable and we've got India Victor back in business I'll say goodbye fly safely my friends